respiratory students. Have you ever seen a doctor come out of a room in the emergency department and say, I don't like the way this person looks. I think they need to be innovated. Or maybe a nurse practitioner in clinic comes out and tells someone, we need to call 911. This person needs to go to an emergency department. I don't like the way they're breathing. If you've seen that, you've probably wondered, how did they come up with that conclusion? They didn't look at an x-ray. They didn't look at any labs. They got that conclusion just by seeing and talking to a patient. And you might wonder, what are they looking for? How are they making this assessment just from talking to a patient? Well, I'm here to tell you there are certain things that I'm keying in on as I introduce myself to patients in the emergency department or in clinic. As I approach the bed and I introduce myself, I'm watching straight away to see what's their posture. Are they sitting up in bed? Or are they hunched over in a tripod position, struggling to breathe? What's their respiratory rate? Are they breathing quickly? As I introduce myself and ask them some questions about what's bringing them in, I'll see how they respond. Are they answering in quick sentences? Dr. Carlos, it's good to meet you. I've been short of breath for three days. Or are they answering nice long sentences? Dr. Carlos, it's good to meet you. I've been having some trouble breathing for the last three or four days. That gives me a lot of information right there. In between breaths, you want to pay close attention to the accessory muscle use. The rate is up. They're working to breathe in between words. Look at their muscles. Look at their nose. Are their nares flaring? Look at their neck. Are their scalene muscles contracting, attempting to pull their rib cage open to suck more air into their chest? And look at their abdomen. When they breathe in, does their abdomen contract, trying to suck more air in? Those three signs I watch for to look for respiratory distress. Right now, as you watch this video, hopefully that's not you. Hopefully, when you breathe in, you'll notice your abdomen goes out. You're comfortably breathing. Simple signs like that are what start the exam. And once I've identified someone's in distress, now I'm going to approach my clinical exam where I'm going to seek to answer some more questions about why they might be in distress. That'll be our next video. Stay tuned.